Hey Scorpio, <clears throat> welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I feel in the past year you did move on from someone, okay? This person moved on from you, you moved on from them. It's like you had no choice, but you had to keep going. Right now, I feel there is this energy where there is a completion, okay? You've completed a cycle with this person out here, okay? Something's come to a close right now, okay? And definitely a chapter has ended between you both here. On this person's mind, I feel they're emotionally pretty contented right now. They're very happy where they are. But I do feel at the same time here, they do see you as their wish fulfillment. But because the chapter is closed between you both here, I feel this person here is trying to find that emotional happiness, emotional satisfaction from, by getting attention from other people here. It could also be through alcohol, it could be drugs, it could be sex, it could just be trying to keep yourself emotionally fulfilled because you can't get the one that you want. That's what I'm getting here. But on your, on their mind is that, you know what, I don't need to do anything. I'm okay on my own. I'm fine. You know, so I'm getting that sense of arrogance from this person's side. Now, how they see you, they see, they, 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 they probably are trying to manifest this connection is what I'm getting here. That's how they view the connection. They know that this connection needs a new beginning here. They're trying to find a new opportunity, okay, where they can create a new beginning between you both here. Now, one thing for sure that this person knows that if someone has to do something out here, it's only them. They're the only ones who has to do it, which is why they're probably sitting even more arrogant out here that, you know what, I don't need you. That's fine. You walked away or we ended things. That's fine. It is what it is. But deep down, that's bullshit. They know it is not what it is. They know there's a lot more going on here. I feel in their uh, feelings, they are daydreaming about you. See, see what I'm saying. Even though this person wants you and they know you're the one that they want, they are more comfortable daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you, having that wishful thinking, but there's no, they're not initiating any action to make that fantasy into reality, okay? Because they're very comfortable where they are out here. Um, how they want to move forward with you, okay? Uh, what's going on behind the scenes? What's your advice? And what is out there? Okay. So this person still is going to keep on watching you from a distance, loving you, etc. Okay. Uh, what? How they want to move forward with you is right now. I feel that this person here is coming off as someone who is very okay where they are. You know, as in like they feel they got everything. Yes, they do want something more stable and secure with you here. But the reason, the reason why they're not making that concrete move towards you is because I think they're very abundant. Okay. More than anything, they're abundant in a place where, you know, how sometimes we're so comfortable where we are emotionally, practically, mentally, logically, physically. We're just, we're just perfect, right? It's like when my life is perfect, why do I need to reach out to something else? Okay. I may want something so bad. But, well, what's going on is okay and I'm fine with it. That's how they are. That's the place that they are right now, okay? But, behind the scenes, this person here, they still have intentions of coming back to you, okay? Maybe they have intentions of coming back to you and probably starting the cycle again with you. But, if you're asking me about commitment or stability here, I do feel here that they're okay where they are, alright? Which is why there is no trigger, okay? Nothing's triggering them to jump in and take that impulsive action. Now, it's going to be up to you. Your advice with the lovers out here is choose what is good for your soul. All right. Don't go for someone who you like. Go for someone who invests into you. So don't invest into people who you like. Invest into people who invest into you. Right now, I don't see this person investing into you. I'm going to be very honest about this. All right. I don't see them investing into you. Which is why the king of cups here the outcome here is that this person still chooses to stay where they are love you from a distance they love you to the moon and back but they're not opening up what's the six of swords let's see what's the six of swords here yeah there was no commitment which is why you kind of chose to walk away from this person right and uh, yeah that is why things came to an end here what's the word yep you chose to walk away. You chose a new direction, okay? And it's almost like this was destined. This was very fated, okay? Whatever happened between you both, the cycle started, it ended. Cycle started, it ended. So you could have gone around in circles with this person for a very long time. But eventually, it was time to wrap up, okay? Wrap up the cycle out here with this person. Which is why you are, you know, uh, something finally, there was a change. Whether you like this change or you don't like this change, this change was 
supposed to happen it was fated it was destined it was a part of your destiny okay and that's why you chose to move forward nine of cups here on this person's mind see they're not doing anything about it bingo that's what i said they know they love you they know they want you they know that you are that emotional contentment you are that emotional bliss you make them very very happy no one compares to you but they won't do what is required to do to get that wish fulfillment out here the magician yeah so they see you as someone extremely guarded okay maybe they see you as someone who's manifest a new opportunity without them okay maybe you're having a new beginning without them and you're very confident where you are here and your guards are pretty up okay they see you as someone who probably is very very uh strong okay you're very strong willed very determined to keep this person out of your life yeah they know that it's going to be tough to get you back in but they, your, your guards are up you're very defensive right now it's like you've just shot them off seven of cups yeah so things did end between you both and now they're kind of confused they are very confused what's next are we even starting this chapter again they are constantly repeating that feeling of that ending like something there was a clear cut ending between you both okay and now they're replaying the memories over and over again so they are constantly thinking about the best things that you guys had they constantly uh, you know idealizing the situation here it's like they don't even want to accept that things are over between you both okay they don't want to they don't want to accept it probably they just want to assume that it's just a small break out here that's what they think they think it's a break and they you know it's like they can't accept the ending between you both here which is why they keep thinking about you and them what's the king of pentacles yeah so they want forward movement with you okay they want your attention they want to come towards you for a lot of you this person here how they want to move forward with you they want victory they want success they want your attention and they want to come towards you wanting to offer you something much more long term okay they're not looking at fling with you anymore if that's what they were doing before they're not looking at passion but they're looking at this as a very very concrete stable connection that they want to move forward with but the ending that has happened between you both and uh, their arrogance you know their attitude and you shutting the chapter on their face is something that's blocking them seven of swords what's that behind the scenes yeah see behind the scenes this person here is almost on the verge of making a decision here okay whatever decision they're making they're keeping it under wraps you know this person could be at a crossroads maybe this person has to choose between you and another person that's if you know that there is another person or this person who is very close to making a choice okay i feel they're very confident about what they want with you okay it's just about you know um making take, taking action okay right now they're in that planning zone you know they're trying to plan the next move towards you you know they want progress with you okay but they're still at a crossroads here still at their comfort zone okay so they're trying to have a new approach to the entire situation here but whatever they're doing they're keeping it under wraps so if you're not having communication from this person here don't think it's over and done between you both that would be a that would be uh wrong no it's not over for them it's not for sure the lovers that as advice yeah be fair think from your head and not from your heart scorpio don't be emotional when it comes to cutting this person off and don't be very logical when it comes to like i don't know just just be very logical right now the advice for you is to you can't have both scorpio you can't have both you need to make a choice either you wait for this person all right or you completely move on you can't wait for the person and even still try moving on it's like you're look you're moving forward and still looking behind you can't do both things because you're getting nowhere you're getting nowhere all right so try and see what is the best for you try and make a very logical and practical decision you know you need to see what is good for you long term and not encourage any kind of instant gratification okay that's what your advice is king of cups <laughs> yeah so they love you and they have hope and faith that things will eventually work out between you both here but clearly there is no sign of action from this person side they still feel that it'll happen when it has to happen but right now they're okay where they are yeah but what they are thinking of wanting with you you don't even know you have no idea what they want with you behind the scenes this is all this is all a charade whatever they're putting up with i mean this is all nine of cups it's all temporary how much time can you entertain yourself with things that don't make you happy but you're doing it just to show the world how happy and okay they are without you it won't last long it won't last long get ready for this big offer that's coming in for sure
you're going to be very surprised when it comes in because it's already in the works you know it's already going on behind the scenes out here which you don't know eventually they will make that decision and come towards you boom out of nowhere all right scops so that's for you hope you enjoyed this video